Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the impact of Star Trek and its revolutionary theory of warp drive. You won't believe what this show has sparked in real life. Ever since the sci-fi TV series Star Trek aired, it has left people baffled with thousands of questions. But this show is not just pure fantasy. The science fiction series has always been intertwined with real-life science for decades, inspiring technologies that people use daily. And among the many remarkable events shown in the series, warp drive is one of the futuristic ideas that has caught the attention of people worldwide. So today we will show you can a Star Trek warp drive happen in real life? You don't want to miss this. What is warp drive? Imagine a world where space and time are at your command. In the sci-fi realm of Star Trek, warp drive is the key to achieving unimaginable speeds and exploring the far reaches of the universe. What? By manipulating space-time, the crew of the Enterprise can transcend the limitations of light speed and traverse vast distances in the blink of an eye. The Science Behind the Fiction Now let's dive into the science behind this fantastical concept. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the fabric of space-time can be bent and distorted. While we haven't cracked the code to achieve this with our current technology, the possibilities are endless in the realm of imagination. The Warp Field In Star Trek, warp speed is made possible through the ingenious invention of the warp drive. This marvel of engineering harnesses matter-antimatter reactions regulated by a substance called the lithium. These reactions generate highly energetic plasma known as electroplasma, which interacts with these starship's warp coils. Enclosed within a warp nacelle, these coils create a protective warp field or bubble around the Enterprise, safeguarding the crew as space twists and turns around them. Setting Warp Limits In the Star Trek universe, even the fastest starship has its limits. Somewhere between the original series and the next generation, the writers introduced a warp speed scale. Warp 10 became the unattainable pinnacle, representing infinite speed and omnipresence. We need breakaway speed. 9.5, According to the technical manual, warp 9.6 is the highest achievable speed, a staggering 1,909 times the speed of light. Why is FTL travel impossible? Well, according to our current understanding of physics, faster than light or FTL travel is impossible. This is because of the theory of relativity which states that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. As you approach the speed of light, time slows down and your mass increases. At the speed of light, time would stop and your mass would be infinite. Which means that in order to reach the speed of light, you would need an infinite amount of energy which is impossible at the moment. The Alcubierre Drive now, one solution to this problem is the Alcubierre Drive. The Alcubierre Drive is a theoretical technology that would create a bubble of space-time around a spacecraft. There have been some intriguing discussions about the feasibility of warp drive-like technologies in the realm of theoretical physics. One notable proposition is the Alcubierre Drive, named after the brilliant physicist Miguel Alcubierre. Now, this mind-bending concept involves creating a warp bubble that contracts space-time in front and expands it behind the vessel. By expanding space-time behind the spacecraft and contracting it in front, it would allow the spacecraft to travel faster than light without violating the laws of physics. The missing puzzle piece But hold on tight there folks, we are approaching a major hurdle. The Alcubierre drive requires a hypothetical form of matter called exotic matter with negative energy density. This elusive substance is purely speculative and has never been observed or created in a lab. You won't believe what researchers are actually up against. Energy Requirements The energy needed to warp space-time on the scale proposed by the Alcubierre Drive is astronomical. We are talking energy levels that far surpass our current technological capabilities. Harnessing and controlling this colossal energy poses significant engineering and theoretical challenges. It could be possible theoretically, but practically? The amount of energy required to power that drive is equivalent to the mass energy of Jupiter, making it impractical. But stay tuned for more mind-bending scientific wonders. You'll be surprised at what more we have. The Thorn in the Side To achieve this warp field, researchers would need to tap into negative energy, which means reducing the energy of empty space to below zero. Sounds mind-boggling, right? According to Einstein, this requirement poses a significant challenge. 
Negative energy is more of a mathematical concept than a physical reality, like a person having a negative height. It simply doesn't make sense in the physical world. The search for alternatives. While negative energy seems to be a roadblock, scientists are not giving up just yet. They are exploring alternative solutions and searching for loopholes in the conditions required for Alcubierre's proposal. After all, the equations of special relativity offer numerous possibilities and there might be other avenues to explore. The Fuel Conundrum to achieve warp speed, a spaceship would require an enormous amount of fuel and energy. So even if we consider the sublight speeds, known as impulse drive, the energy needed would be astronomical. According to theoretical physicist Dr. Lawrence Krauss, the Enterprise would need to burn 81 times its mass in hydrogen, which is used for nuclear fusion. To put that into perspective, the ship would require over 300 million metric tons of hydrogen just to move forward. Slowing down and stopping would require an additional 300 million metric tons of fuel. And for intergalactic travel, we are talking about 6,642 times the mass of the Enterprise. Storing such colossal amounts of fuel is currently beyond our capabilities. Gathering fuel on the go. Some have suggested a system where a device collects hydrogen as the Starship travels, eliminating the need for storing massive amounts of fuel. However, the problem lies in the scale of this device. According to Krauss, it would have to be about 25 miles wide to capture enough hydrogen worth using. Just imagine the challenge of constructing and maintaining such a colossal device. Powering the Warp Drive in the Star Trek universe, the warp drive operates by using matter-antimatter reaction, resulting in the release of pure energy. While we can produce antimatter at facilities like Fermilab in Illinois, the issue remains. The amount of fuel required for a warp drive is staggering. Fermilab can produce 50 billion antiprotons in one hour, which is only enough to power a light bulb by one one-thousandth of a watt. To generate enough antiprotons to bend space-time, we would need an unimaginable number of Fermilabs far beyond our current technological capabilities. Exploring the Boundaries of Reality But before we dive in, let's address the skeptics. From the Alcubierre drive that warp bubbles the key to achieving faster than light travel, it may not be possible without negative energy. However, there is a catch. This claim only holds true for observers moving alongside the bubble. Plus, we must remember that not everything predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity has been observed or proven technologically feasible. So no practical relevance yet. Space propulsion expert Martin Tajmar believes that the current work on warp drives lacks practical relevance. The sheer magnitude of the masses involved in this endeavor surpasses anything that can be tested on Earth. But don't lose hope just yet. Many experienced warp drive researchers view their work as an exploration of the limits of relativity rather than a stepping stone to real-world experiments. The Visionary Physicist Enter Eric Lentz, a physicist with a vision. After watching Star Trek as a child, he became enthralled with the concept of warp drives. Now he is actively working to make it a practical reality. Lentz, who wrote his PhD dissertation on dark matter, has dedicated his spare time to pondering ways to accelerate a bend in space-time and reduce the energy required for warp travel. Seeking Clues in the Cosmos Lentz proposes that we closely examine neutron stars, those ultra-compact stellar remnants. It's possible that these enigmatic objects eject bubbles akin to those described in his research. By embracing evidence and setting aside personal biases, Lentz believes this line of investigation is as worthy as any other. The Wisdom of Jean-Luc Picard As the iconic captain Jean-Luc Picard once said, things are only impossible until they are not. This sentiment rings true even if we don't live 300 years in the future. While warp drive technology remains firmly in the realm of science fiction, its study can lead to new insights and advancements in physics. So keep an eye on the stars, because you never know what surprises the universe has in store for us. Is a warp drive possible? Well, altogether, our current understanding of the laws of nature neither allows for faster-than-light travel nor an Alcubierre-like solution to warping space. However, as history has shown us, just because something seems impossible doesn't mean it is. Scientists are constantly discovering new things, and our understanding of physics is always evolving. 
Who knows, maybe one day someone will come up with a new idea, something quite different from our current understanding of physics, and we will be able to travel the stars. What lies ahead? Well, while we may not have the technology to travel at warp speed just yet, the concept continues to inspire scientists and engineers. Who knows what the future holds? Perhaps one day we will witness the realization of warp drive and explore the vast expanse of space for ourselves.